Sprite Castle. Sprite Castle. Sprite Castle. With Rob O'Hara. Sprite Castle. Hello, sports fans, and welcome to another episode of Sprite Castle. On today's episode, we're going to be playing one on one the exciting basketball game released by Electronic Arts in 1983. Um, 1983, this game received several reviews calling it extremely realistic, amazing graphics, amazing animations. Uh, it was first released for the Apple II, but it was ported to lots of other systems, including uh, the PC Junior, later the PC, the Commodore 64, which is the version, obviously, we're going to be playing to date, uh, Commodore Amiga, uh, Macintosh, if you're a console person, it was released for the Atari 7800. So lots of versions of this game available to play. Um, you can also, there were sequels, and, and uh, I guess we could talk about those real quick, but uh, uh, obviously when this game came out, Dr. J versus uh, Larry Bird was a popular uh, matchup. The version that was released a few years later, I think in 80, 87, 88, was uh, Jordan versus Bird, so obviously a little bit of a change. Uh, Dr. J was out, uh, Jordan was in. Uh, but anyway, we're going to be playing the original here, Dr. J versus Larry Bird. So let's go ahead and get started. You can see we have some uh, choices here. Uh, where you can choose, this is basically your, your level of uh, how good uh, and what kind of penalties are called here. Let's just, eh, we'll go college. Uh, Let's see, do I want to be Dr. J or do I want to be Larry Bird? I'm going to be Larry Bird, so I'm going to make the computer be Dr. J. Uh, you can have a time gain or play to a set score. Uh, obviously, losers outs, so that means if you didn't score, you get the ball. And so let's go ahead and play a new game of Jordan versus Bird. Oh, well, he's not going to take much time to shoot on me. I'm going to get the rebound now since we're playing. Oh, I didn't mean to shoot. Uh, this is uh, playing half-court ball, which means... Uh, to uh, clear the ball, you have to run to this line out here, the three-point line. Uh, on the joystick, your four directions obviously move your character, uh, whether you're Larry Bird. Now you see a shot clock in the upper right-hand corner, so I have just a few seconds. I'm going to run up here and throw up a three. No, it's not three. It's two. From way outside, I should have run for the rebound up there. Um, now he's going to try to run. He's going to have to run back. Um, oh, I guess you don't have to run all the way out there. I guess you just have to run outside there. Um, the button serves two purposes in this game. If you quickly tap the button, you turn around. So you do a 180, so you can, I can back down my uh, defender, back down, uh, or I can tap it, do like that. Oh, 24 second shot clock. Uh, if you hold down the button, you'll jump. So, uh, and, uh, so if you're on offense and you hold down the button, I'm going to try to get a little bit closer to the basket here. Dr. J puts on some D. So I'm going to hold down the button. Do a 180. Throw it up. Boom. Two. It's good. Uh, I also, look at that. I just stole the ball from Dr. J. One-handed dog. Boom. <laughs> uh, I don't know if you're a basketball fan. NBA uh, season just started. Oh, look at that. Rebound. I'm going to go back out here. I'm going to clear the ball. I'm going to go. Oh, he fakes left. He fakes right. He goes to Dr. J. What's he doing? He's going. Uh, Oklahoma City, your Oklahoma City Thunder are now undefeated. They are 1-0. <laughs> we beat the Utah Jazz last night. God, Dr. J just throw it up there. All right, so I'm going to jump, get the rebound. I'm going to try to turn it. Oh, look, he stole the ball from me, dummy. I'm going to try to block it. Oh, goaltending. There's our referee. We haven't seen much of the referee. Kissing? That's interesting. I didn't know that was a penalty. Obviously, Dr. J is going to throw some. Free throws up on me, on the bird man. Not the bird man, that's a different guy. Uh, boy, it's hard to get around Dr. J to get a, a dunk, but um, there are certain things that will happen. Uh, if you've not played this, one of the most famous things is that uh, uh, on a dunk, you can break the backboard. That happens. And the referee will come up with a little whisk broom and clean up the broken glass and... and uh, look none too happy while he's doing it. Uh, obviously, this is a great, great two-player game. If you and a buddy uh, each have a joystick and want to play some uh, basketball, this is a great game. Uh, 
there are more advanced basketball games out there in the world. There are and there are more advanced basketball games available on the Commodore 64. Uh, but uh, this is definitely a pick up and play game. I mean, uh, there is strategy to it. Oh, look at that! What did I do now? Apparently, I chose the thing where the referee uh, always sides with Dr. J. Oh, gets his own putback. Oh, what's he going to do? Oh, look at that. Oh, whatever. So, you could try to get in here. And obviously, notice how he, he kind of turns around so I can't steal a ball, but apparently I never do that to him. <laughs> like that. Oh, what did I do now? I'm familiar with that person, that actual foul. Uh, anyway, so, uh, Dr. J versus Larry Bird one-on-one. -on -one. A great, fun little uh, basketball game for Commodore 64 and lots of other platforms, like I said. Uh, uh, if you have... Um, uh, there are other versions out there. Like I said, the uh, Jordan versus Bird... Uh, for later systems, I think it's it's available on a lot of 8-bit and 16-bit consoles. Uh, so if you want to check that out, it's basically the same gameplay. Um, I think some of the later versions, I think uh, in the Jordan vs. Bird, there's also like a three-point shooting contest. And, uh, oh, Bird drops the three. Oh, and here he comes back. I'm sure that's going to, oh. Nope, turn around. Turn around. All right. Uh, anyway, uh, I can tell you on, uh, as Sprite Castle goes, this is going to be one of those episodes that I'm about to turn off the camera and I'm going to play this game for about another hour because I haven't played this in a while and it is fun. Uh, so like I said, um, there are, as far as sports games go, perhaps not the most realistic in the history of the world, but um, definitely fun. You pick up a joystick, load it up. Oh, and you throw it up like that. That will never go in stupid uh one-on-one -on -one, and that's what we're playing here a little game of one-on-one -on -one. so uh thanks for watching this episode of sprite castle i wish i i should have lied i should have told you that i'm dr j in this game look how good i'm doing this dr j i'm not letting bird get by me at all haha -ha, oh oh look i get to do free throws let's see how i do here Oh! Bounce, bounce. Doesn't make up for the fact that I'm down by... Oh, look at that! You want some of that? Oh, I guess he did. He took it. <laughs> he wanted some of that. Alright. Well, you guys go have a good day. I'm going to play this game for the next hour or so. Uh, thanks for watching Sprite Castle. If you like uh, retro Commodore 64 gaming goodness, check out SpriteCastle.com. Uh, or the YouTube channel, which is YouTube forward slash Sprite Castle. Uh, if you like retro podcasts in general, be sure to check out throwbacknetwork.net where you can find Sprite Castle, You Don't Know Flag, Throwback Reviews, and a whole bunch of other retro themed shows. Oh, God, Dr. J. Um, yes. Uh, so, anyway, thanks for watching, and I will see you next time. God dang it. Take the, oh, God. Ah, oh, no, ah, 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 God dang it. Oh, that's, oh, that, oh, no, ah, ah, God. Oh, yeah.